What was the process of going and getting capital to develop or build that hotel? Yeah, um, well, oftentimes in hotel development, the place to start uh, on the debt side is with local banks uh, because they are in the market. They understand the market because they operate there. Uh, and obviously you need to find a, a lender that is also uh, willing to lend into the hospitality space. But um, uh, so, so that's what we did here. Uh, we went uh, to a local bank at that time called First Tennessee Bank. Now it's uh, First Horizon Bank. Uh, and they provided us with the first mortgage for the hotel. Uh, we, uh, we also realized that we needed, um, a, you know, it still left a pretty big gap of equity that we needed to provide. And we knew that all of that equity could not come from us alone. We weren't deep enough. And so uh, we began to explore how to round out the rest of the capitalization, just to give you some specifics. At that time in 2006, when we started construction, or in 2005, when we were working on the financing, it was a $40 million project budget, $40 million all in, on, on a ground lease, by the way, uh, owned by the city of Memphis. Um, and so, which complicates financing, by the way, ground leases are not as easy to finance as, um, as fee simple land is. But we, thankfully, we had had some exposure of developing, or excuse me, financing uh, new developments on ground leases and so uh, we, we had a sense of what we needed to tackle there. But the, we, we had a $23 million first mortgage loan on a $40 million project, leaving us with a $17 million gap. And so we, we became aware of a new program, which we had never worked in before, called New Market Tax Credits. It's a federal uh, program that provides uh, income tax credits for development of projects in low-income census tracts. Even though we believed this was a great site within a great market, it happened to be in a low-income census tract, so we qualified for new market tax credits. The short of that dis dis discussion, Adam, is it was incredibly complicated. Uh, we did one of the first new market tax credit uh, deals ever done um, because it was early on in, in this, this new uh, benefit that the federal government was, was promoting. Uh, but but uh, that provided uh, about $3 million of the capitalization that we needed on the project. And again, I won't spend the time here to go through all the details, but um, it, was, it was a good add to the project that allows, allowed us to bring some low-cost uh, capital into the project. Uh, that enhanced the, the returns on the remaining equity we still needed to raise. The other thing we had going on there, uh, Adam, was we needed a debt guarantor. Uh, hmm. First Tennessee Bank at that time, now First Horizon, was offering us a loan, but it was recourse debt. And so um, we needed a guarantor. We needed someone to stand behind that loan. and. Again, we were not deep enough to do that. So uh, we found a local Memphian uh, who had a, a, a significant uh, net worth and was specifically interested in seeing downtown Memphis uh, developed well, uh, and particularly this site. He had an interest in seeing this site developed well, and we approached him and he agreed uh, to guarantee the debt for a fee. And so uh, we negotiated that agreement. And at the same time, we negotiated with him what effectively was a, uh, a second mortgage on the hotel as well of uh, a little over $6 million. So to round out where we are now, we've got a $23 million first mortgage loan. We've got a $6 million second mortgage getting us to 29. We've got about $3 million of net proceeds coming in from this new market tax credits transaction, getting us to about $32 million, leaving us with an $8 million equity gap. And that was a lot more uh, doable than where we had started with just a $23 million first mortgage and a $17 million equity need. And yeah. so we went out to uh, 
individual investors, and we raised eight million dollars um, along with our partnership, and uh, and that rounded out the forty million dollar capital stack. And every step along the way could have just killed that deal. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. And and really, Adam, every step along the way, while again we had been exposed to it, it's it, it was a different type of exposure this time, uh, being the sponsor developer of the project, you know, and taking capital risk. Yeah. And uh, sorry, I, I, I'm not sure if you mentioned it. Did it end up? Oh, it was a Weston that you developed, mm -hmm. right? So did do you think that having that flag, um, well, had you guaranteed that it was going to be a Weston at that point? Had you signed an agreement? We with did. Them? We we early on before we even secured the the first mortgage financing commitment, we went to Starwood. Uh, we actually approached another brand and spoke with them about one of their upscale assets. I won't name them. I don't want to put any bad light on them, but they they said, you know, we don't think Memphis is is a market for that. And so we said, well, we think it is. And and so then we approached Starwood, and uh, Starwood, frankly, had a similar response. You know, they looked at Memphis and said, we don't we don't see a Weston in Memphis. And with them, we said, I tell you what, what if we fly you to Memphis and show you what we see and see if you see what we see? And they agreed, and uh, we we had a great meeting in Memphis, and that. That gentleman, a guy named Ed Luzarder with Starwood at the time, left saying, you're right, Memphis is a western town, and I think I think could do very well here. And so um, we were able to secure the, the western franchise. Yeah.